Hey guys, Big Ben 589 here with Bazinga. Hey, from Get Tech. So uh, we have a bit of a, uh, I don't know, would you consider it a rant almost kind of? Th yeah, a little bit. A bit of a rant vlog I wanted to get off the top of my head. Um, we as creators of YouTube videos find that it's hard to get the views and the, the content for people out there to see sometimes. And when it, when it is out there, we don't get what we kind of like look for when we get it sometimes. But there are people out there who put content who we consider offensive. Yeah, not so much offensive, just, it's just like sh the shock value. Yeah. It, but it's like, you think it's real, you know, at first, and it's kind of scary. And see, there, there's, there's channels out there, and I, I won't give out too many uh, uh, sub-channel names, but like some like, like Daddy05 and McJuggernuggets, like those like two... The big ones right now. Yeah, yeah the two big on. ones I could think of. Like, like I could think back to a McJuggernuggets on his season finale of the Psycho series, he shot his dad with a revolver. But I'm like, well, all the content that we're putting out here, and this guy's getting like millions and millions and millions of views while we're getting 10, 15. <laughs> it's. I understand they probably put work into it, but like when, when he showed me that video, I thought it was real for a second. And yeah. I'm like, no, it can't be. There's no way. That's what scares me. It looks real though, and that's yeah. that, that's what really sh is a shock and awe. Yeah. And, 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 and he put a, a documentary out later describing how the whole series went and why oh, really? and, right. and how he did it. And I kind of got a little bit of respect for him, but there, to me, there's one person that just throws me for the loop because he creates a video series where he makes fake abuse. Fake. Like, and, and he, he came out and announced that it was fake abuse. And, and this, I, I really hate throwing people down to the side here, to the curb, but Daddy05, I mean, it just makes me really upset and irked that people are getting entertainment value out of something that's showing that it's okay to abuse people like this yeah they may not say it's okay but it just looks it, i thought it like i saw a video of it and i was like wow they're screaming their heads off they're beat red they're really fighting about this yeah he he recently made an apology video and my biggest problem with his apology video is an apology video feels fake like his oh, really? series I, I haven't seen the apology and then he goes on to another, get another apology video. He does two. He does one where he did it, and then two, his wife did it. So, it, it just irks me. Like, people are getting entertainment value off of this, while us creators can't get the views that you need. Well, of course, it is a different genre. I don't know what genre you would call their videos. Well, their video genre is called uh, the Freak Out series. It started okay. off, I want to say, uh, in the 2000s with, uh, with Waffle Pwn. With uh, and it, it's a funny name, but they, they their their content has stopped because they they announced that their stuff was fake, but they didn't go beyond that limit. They had a set standard. Like well, he would pick on his brother, his brother's what fourteen, whatever fifteen, but you know it was fake because the way the kid is reacting. Like no no kid is ever gonna react like that. But Waffle Pwn started it, and then Make Jugger Nuggets kind of capitalized on it with the Psycho series. And it went on to other people, like Angry Grandpa Show and all right. these other people. I do know that I there used to there's a uh, a lot of videos that um, have pranks and stuff, but like the people that are pranking, like some of them are like just oh this one guy like gets kidnapped, thrown in the trunk of a car, then they hold yep. him up at gunpoint and he thinks he's gonna die and he's all tied up and it's like that guy is legitimately scared. He thinks it's real. Yeah. Until the end. Oh, hey, hey. social, social experiments, something like that. Yeah, yeah, that's too much, man. Well, the, like, especially. So coming up next on Ben's channel. Yeah, we're doing social experiment. Yeah, we're a social experiment. We're, we're knocking a kid's door, going, "Hey, come in, a kid. I got candy." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it just scares me the way YouTube's going. It's and and, it, and it's sad that us creators have to be like uh, on the compete. edge, compete, <laughs> and basically be on the edge. But we're worried about all our content either being deemed inappropriate or something like that. While well, these people are in some sense thriving off of this like it's like i know people who do these type of videos who have hundreds and hundreds of thousands of subs yeah like you know we we have some silly videos where we're acting we're not actors we just yeah. having fun and we get oh you're not good actors blah 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 we're like well that's the point we're just having fun making videos for you guys and then we got these trolls like saying how bad we are and it's like well that's the purpose yeah and <laughs> It's just, it, it, I just think uh, creators need to really put their mind into, like, 
the feet of people watching the videos when they make it. Like, I know that my videos have vulgar language in it sometimes, but I know I'm trying to tone it down. But these people who are out there abusing their kids, fake abusing their kids, or shooting their parents, fake shooting their parents. Mm -hmm. and they're, they're swearing up yeah. and down in their videos in front of the kids, which shouldn't it's just, happen. Yeah. It's wrong, and, and it's setting a bad example, because my book, when I saw, like, for instance, the Psycho Series season finale, and my book from the outside looking in, I said, you're going to get the followers thinking, okay, it's all right if I shoot my dad with a gun. Yeah, if the kids are watching, because there is a lot of stuff that's freely available to watch on YouTube without having to uh, be of age. Yeah. And uh, something like that, little kids could be watching that, and they'll see this, and they'll think that's normal. Yeah, and it's this, this not the case, and that that's the thing. And this is why I really thrive on making positive positive content yeah. and if it is negative there are the you guys know my channel has warnings like i tell you right up front it's yeah, like, there's yeah, yeah. spoilers there's vulgar language be careful i just think that these people who are thriving in this community for and it, it is it is a community a youtube community mm -hmm. people who are thriving off these videos and not looking from the outside in like they're thinking oh they're making videos this is great oh this is awesome i'm gonna get all these views I'm like oh i got a million views off of this one video of me screaming at my kid like oh well, okay what are you trying to tell your kids now like oh mm-hmm yeah now if it there's one thing if it's like like hollywood filming and stuff like that yeah these kids are paid they're they're acting but this is like it's over the top yeah it's way over the top it's and and and, and you, you you just don't know yeah it's basically you know boogie yeah, uh, you know he had he has videos like that where he's like, <laughs> you know, yeah, he, but it, he's an adult with other adults, and it's just it's it's just funny because the way he's reacting, he's acting yeah. like a child. But this is just seeing just out. It's like a, a, a family fighting every, yeah. in every video, you know. I think the biggest thing is, like I said, I don't I'm not I don't think we're we're so much bashing on the creators. We're just asking that, that the creators put their mind in other people's shoes before they put that content out. One of the things with the YouTube like rules and regulations is it basically says that you shouldn't have controversial stuff in the videos yeah. and that's pretty controversial in my mind. It is, yeah. So why didn't they get... Yeah, why, like, does, why does my Zed uh, Halo 3 video get banned off of like on YouTube while this person is getting a video on YouTube with him screaming at his kid because he put a visible ink on the floor and he's turning red and crying. Yeah. Like all right, that makes sense. Yeah. All right. But I could say yeah, they're good actors if that's the yeah. case. I just I guess that I, kid is real good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like I said we're not we're not so much bashing on these guys. Just wish that these people would just put their minds in other people's shoes before they put that content out. And if it is they, they like the negativity, they need to put a warning label in front of the video saying these videos are faked, it's a series. So this way people are not taking it serious. Like, or at least in the description. Yeah, in description. Yeah. Like like and this is where I have a little bit of high respect for a little bit of respect for McJuggernuggets when he did his documentary, because he went about that. He said, if you look at the uh, the uh, subcategory, it's entertainment. Entertainment meaning it's fake. All right. So he puts in a subcategory so you understand why you should not believe it's real. All right. At least there's something there. So, he, I mean, he has that. But we love you guys. Yeah, we do. We and love you guys. Thanks. We enjoy... We enjoy you your videos. Us, yeah. We enjoy all your videos. Just just keep in mind when you do these things. It, it's offensive for certain people because they actually think it's real. You know? Just let us know. Yeah. <laughs> you like that video, hit that subscribe button. Thumbs up. Let me know what I'm doing. And subscribe to this guy's channel over here.